We are near Modena and yesterday I finished a video but before I could have uploaded it the battery drained so we need to charge our computer and this is how we will charge our computer on the go the battery is pretty drained but I guess we'll have a nice weather meaning the sun which shall charge us we are going direction Parma and there is a nice park We are in the middle of nowhere, almost, not that actually. Uh, we are past the Modena, and if I haven't told you yet, I will tell you now. I rely heavily on my inner voice, and I mean heavily when I say heavily, and my inner voice took me to the motorway which is reserved for the motor vehicles only and of course I was in doubt but the, the voice said hey, hey it's okay you will be fine okay and I was driving 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 where I shouldn't be driving uh, I also have a low on battery nevertheless at one moment, my voice said, uh, "Go right, take, get off the motor motor road." And a, just a hundred meters uh, behind the exit were the carabinieri. Carabinieri is the Italian police. <laughs> okay. And the voice said again, "Right, okay." I turned right again, but nevertheless. The carabinieri caught me and we were fined just like uh, the voice said although it said I will be fine but we were fined almost I am a Saturnian type and police is ruled by the Saturn if you believe or not never mind and I have I have many experiences with the police officers I respect them highly they are making a world better, sort of. So, uh, the carabinieri stopped me and they explained, you should not be driving here. And I said, scusi, sorry. And then the, the main uh, carabinieri, the main police officer took some book out of the car and starts checking some, I don't know if he was checking for five minutes a little book and at the end he showed me look this is the fine and it was 60 euros and 90 cents so I gave him a 100 and he asked they the, he didn't have a spare change so he asked I guess my guess is he asked a fellow officer fellow policeman and he neither had no change so I was not fine at the end and he sent me to the road SS9 which is a road to Parma uh, and yeah we were lucky. Whew.
over and out. If you really want to know, soon after we left that city before, my voice in the head told me, try the church and look what we found. A working electricity, electric wallet. Wall socket, sorry. <laughs> so we are charging. I think in uh, three hours we should be charged. In the meanwhile, let me show you our today's host, God Almighty, who supposedly lives in this church. Nice big round church. You want to know where we are? I have no idea. A few kilometers after the Modena and we will probably take the shortest route to the coast but this time on the other side of the Italy not Adriatic but the other and that means we have to cross a hilly area not really as hilly as in Trieste but hilly nevertheless so we are in Rubieri yes I think it's Rubieri and today's host is Mr. Fabiano et es Sebastiano all hail Mr. Fabiano I believe the sea but not the Adriatic, the other side of the Italian boot is there and I don't think we'll get there soon. We are in the middle of the hill, going over the hills towards the sea. The road is quite steep and it was raining all night. But we slept under the tree and we are all right. Thank you, tree. Oh, for the cover. This is a interesting place. It's got big wooden doors and the lights all over the hill. Not sure if we are gonna get any sun, it's cloudy. If we don't manage to charge the battery, we will turn back and go down. We went a few kilometers back and I believe we are in the city of Remiano. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is my favorite plant, Lavandula officinata. Lavandula, lavender. And we are gonna see a local square, which I noticed yesterday when I was... When I was passing by. It looks nice, it's big. We are charging on in full open configuration. There is a post office. I believe some apartments. Nice. And a lovely place. Not sure really what to do, but I think the best bet would be to go down and find um, a level road because this is just too much. I can easily compare it to our attack on Varsic, although not so extreme, but quite close. A lovely small parking place. 